Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Uh, you're listening to the voice of Evangelist Jesse Charo. Uh, I'm on YouTube, Facebook. I had a dream, a vision. I saw the praying hands, but in the praying hands, I saw that the flag was inside the praying hands. You know, so together, what does that uh, what does that vision dream say? It's just pray for America. Very simple. But the hands were like the American flag was all here. Like the praying hands and the American flag like glued or uh, painted on there. Uh, with, amen. You know what? Uh, we need to pray for America. We are uh, January, almost late January uh, 2020. And um, I want to give God praise, glory, and honor. If you can see my website up there, uh, youtube.com slash Jesse Charo. I have some uh, uh, beautiful uh, videos, all kinds of videos. Um, and uh, I want you to look up one video that I have up there. And uh, this is called Worldwide uh, Evangelism. You know, because that's what the, the ministry that the Lord has given me is to go worldwide web evangelism. Amen. Why? Why not? I mean, that's, that's the Lord. He wants to evangelize the whole world. Glory be to God. For it is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We've learned uh, John 3, 16. God loves the whole world. He sent his only begotten son. Now, listen, over here I have, I want you to look at this and... Um, this is my uh, my notebook that I've had for years. Um, uh, my first vision, my first dream and salvation, the Lord saved me here in the city of Las Vegas in 1986. To Him be all the praise, glory, and honor. But I have the gift of evangelism. Um, in the Old Testament, they were called the seers. Uh, it's called the watchmen, the watchmen. Amen. With the gift of dreams, visions, uh, revelations by God himself. Um, I give him all the praise, glory, and honor. Evangelist Jesse Charo, to him be the glory. Ezekiel chapter 33. He says, you know what? Jesse, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesse says, when I show you something and when I tell you to do something, I said, you need to do it. Amen. Uh, if we remember the, um, the story of Jonah in the Bible. God told Jonah to go to Chicago, excuse me, New York, uh, I'm sorry, to go to Nineveh, to go to Nineveh, and because God wanted, God had showed him something, and he wanted Nineveh saved. To make a long story short, he finally went, and the king, the president of Nineveh, called for a fast, and the whole, uh, the whole, they all repented, and God spared Nineveh. He did not spare Sodom and Gomorrah. God did not spare. He could have. Amen. Because uh, God is so powerful. But anyway, I, 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 I did a, a video already and it took like over 30 minutes. And I want to make this one very short. And uh, the video that I uploaded to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Jesse Charo. And I have a video up there. It says, to the attention of Donald J. Trump. Attention, Donald J. Trump. And it talks about the next 9-11 um, that I saw uh, that it was going to come to America. And, and guess what? I mean, God has not given me the spirit of fear. But you know what? My job is to do the job of him who sent me uh, to testify of him. So let me put this aside. And um, I, I want you to see something very, very powerful. What the Lord has showed me in the past, you know, He's shown me many things. In 1995, God showed me, 95, okay, uh, He showed me uh, the, the two towers that were going to come down. And uh, I didn't know where New York was. I, I I don't know where anything is, you know, but God has uh, chosen the foolish things uh, to confound the wise. So anyway, he showed me that these two, two tall buildings that came down. You know what? So when I we saw it, the 9-11, September 11, 
2001, when we saw it on television, I told God, you know what? God, I'm sorry, but you are wrong on this one. Because we saw, uh, we saw it on, um, uh, on television that two planes hit the two towers and that's why they came down. So I told the Lord, you are wrong because you didn't show me the two planes or the two rockets that hit, uh, excuse me, the two, uh, uh, rockets dressed as planes that hit it. What the Lord showed me was that they were blown up at the bottom. They went from boom, 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 boom. That's why they came down. It didn't come down because of the two, the two planes. It, it was a cover setup. Hello, somebody. But anyway, so then when the Lord showed me, he said, well, go back and look what I showed you. What did I show you? I said, Lord, you are so awesome. Because I remember on the video, we saw that it went boom, 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 boom. Okay. So I saw it in 1995. So I started blowing the trumpet. God said, blow the trumpet. Go, 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 go tell somebody. Amen. Go tell the, the big guys, the big guys. I said, well, who are the big guys? Well, you got Billy Graham, Tim LaHaye, uh, Paul Crouch. Um, all these guys, I said, wow, those are the big guys. I should have gone straight to the president of the United States of America because this happened in New York. Okay. So, um, um, so that came, that came to pass. So let me put that one there. But, um, uh, here I contacted, um, Billy Graham evangelistic association he wrote the the billy graham association wrote me back on november 1st november 15 uh 2001 sorry november 1st 2001 okay um two months after september 11 okay so they wrote me back. So I'm, I'm, I'm writing. I saw two towers. I saw this and I saw this and I, I'm going like, Hey, you know what? I, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I mean, hey, what do I do? Okay. So let's put that one aside. I also wrote, uh, Tim LaHaye because they go, Hey, these, these are big guns up there. These are big people. So, uh, I wrote Tim LaHaye and Tim LaHaye, uh, the, the, the people there, I don't know. Um, they wrote me back August. 10th. Let's say this is August 11, 2001. August, September, one month and one day before September 11. You see that? Uh, they wrote me back one month before September 11. And, and, and I wrote to them and I said, I, I saw this and it. Can you guys interpret dreams? They wrote me back and they said, you know what? Tim LaHaye is already too old. He, he, he don't have the time to be doing the things that he would love to do. And I have the red, their letter, but, uh, I'm, I'm going fast because I'm going somewhere with this. Okay. Um, I wrote the word for today, uh, Chuck Smith from, uh, Costa Mesa, California. Um, these are all addressed to Jesse Charo, Jesse Charo, Evangelist Jesse Charo, to God be the glory. Um, October the 11th, uh, 2001, October, one month after they wrote me back, right? Okay, so here's a Tim LaHaye uh, letter. Um, Jesse Charo, Las Vegas, Nevada, glory be to God, um, August the 9th. Um, you know, uh, the letter is, uh, he does not know anyone, nor he does not know anyone that can interpret the dreams, but we have the Bible, the word of God that is sufficient and relevant to meet all our needs. So they send me back to the Bible and I read my Bible and I said, no, Jesse, you got it. You got it. Jesse. Hello. I'm talking to you. Uh, so I just want to be obedient. You know, greater love has no one than this. They would lay their life down for the USA, United States of America. We love our president, Donald J. Trump. And um, uh, God be with him and God is with him. And as God is with him, nobody can be against him. But I tell you what, uh, this is something that just happened. Uh, they, they um, I don't know. It says that in the, uh, I don't know where it said. I didn't see it. But they said that uh, Donald Trump ordered the death of a general in uh, Iran. That he ordered the death of, of a general in, in another country. Well, I tell you what, that's not good. That's not good. Because we know, 
uh, according to the, the 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 mafia movies that we've always seen, we've all seen the mafia movies and all the Godfather and all that. You go and kill somebody, you know what? They're coming back. They're coming back. No, no, you don't leave things like that. In the Bible, says, "Thou shalt not kill." So you know what? I don't think that was a good, uh, a smart thing to do. But anyway, I wrote, um, uh, I showed you Billy Graham uh, evangelistic. And uh, they're telling me if you can just go slow and read the letter for yourself. Um, okay. They wrote me back uh, November. Okay. Now, this is what I want to get to. Uh, very quickly. I don't want to take too long because I, I want you to see the other video I have loaded up on attention. Donald J. Trump concerning the next 9-11. Uh, concerning War War Three. This is going to strike another war uh, and we're headed but you know what the bible says that god is going to take us out before any uh destruction but anyway he who endures till the end shall be saved now listen i'm going to show you something else uh the 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 next vision i saw this one i saw it in 2003 dream vision revelation it's called a burden it's called a prophecy and uh here it is ezekiel 33 you're the watchman uh you know and uh, this one here is uh, Chicago zip code is 60606. I know because I had to send letters to the churches in Chicago. I had to email churches in Chicago. There, we, there it is. And I sent these letters in uh, 2009 uh, concerning this one here has not come to pass. And and if if Jonah had to go tell the president, the king, the 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 leader of the world, whatever world leader, and say, hey, you know what? We need to repent. We need to call a fast, and we need to call upon God because that devil is coming. You better believe that devil is coming because uh, that devil ain't. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm not gonna get into that. But uh, this one here, it's got all you know. Habakkuk chapter two. Verses 2 and 3, write the vision, make it plain, write the vision, make it plain on tablets. Okay, That's why I'm not going to get into too much because it says write the vision, make it plain, and boom. That's that's all the Lord showed me, and um, um, I need to be obedient. Okay, Numbers 12, uh, if, if there is anybody that I, I, the Lord, will reveal himself, myself to, to him in a dream, in a vision, I speak to him by my word, uh, this is what happened in, uh, in, in Chicago here. Um, here I heard a man's voice uh, inside from a helicopter. And there was a man's voice, if you read Daniel chapter 8, verses 16 and 15 and 16. Daniel 8, 15 and 16. Read it. Okay. So this, this helicopter, the same with the 911. Do you remember the 911? I mean, the, the, the helicopters were going, uh, filming everything in, in what had happened. Well, in the same way, I saw a helicopter flying over Chicago, f uh, filming, and, and the, the, the man that was, uh, uh, riding the helicopter, I saw the cockpit. I saw everything. I saw it from the window. We were looking down at Chicago. Uh, I didn't know it was Chicago until the newsman, the newsman, watch my video on um, youtube.com YouTube slash Jesse Charo, evangelist Jesse Charo, Jesse Charo, okay, and, and I go through the video, okay, and, and what happened was there's a big mushroom cloud went up high, high, this helicopter is higher than the cloud, like a mushroom cloud it looked like uh there was something that went in and hit it i didn't see what what it was all i saw that it had gotten hit and then the mushroom cloud came up all the way with white debris uh gray and white it wasn't like fire it was uh, i i don't know i i watch the video i get more into detail right after that and water, 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 water everywhere, water everywhere started flooding the whole Chicago there. And Chicago is right next to Lake Michigan. It's like you pull a cork out of here, all this water is going to come up. Okay, God is not giving us the spirit of fear, but we're going to pray against this devil. That, it, it, you know what, he has no authority here. If God be with us, 
who can be against us okay but listen we're not ignorant of the devil's schemes we're not ignorant of that devil okay they say uh, i i've shared this with many pastors in the city of las vegas and you know what they told me he goes that's of the devil we don't get into that well i tell you what if 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 okay if this is the enemy wouldn't god show it to anybody or is everybody ignorant if god showed me this one and people were ignorant and they didn't they did not take heed of the trumpet call and then and, and then the lord says hey watch out here comes another one and wouldn't god show it to to his people the prophets i'm not a prophet i didn't choose him he chose me so listen here we go uh, this one here has not been uh, has not come to pass. This one here, I saw it in uh, late uh, 2003. Excuse me. <coughs> mm, that was a good one. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, 2003. So I started writing letters. I started writing letters. Uh, I I don't know why I wrote this. This is an old letter um, notes. Uh, World War Three or next 9-11 world war three or next 9-11 chicago illinois the zip code in chicago there you have it 60606 i know it was 60606 because i had to when i had to send letters to chicago i wrote letters they they this dot net you look at that he said did jesse charo write you a warning go over there and they're gonna say you know what yeah but we don't receive you know uh, we don't receive that junk but anyway, uh, here, Jesus help us, okay? Uh, here we have, I had to send letters. Uh, at that time, I sent them the 9-11. The, the I was shooting letters to Bush. Bush, President Bush. I, I, you know, and I, I don't know, did they get the letters or did they go hide or I, I, what did they do? This one here was at Obama at White House. Okay, email Obama at White House. The date was March 25th, 20, uh, 2009, 12.30 a.m. That wakes me up. You, say, you know what? I can't sleep. Okay, uh, an another one. I send it to uh, the whitehouse.gov. Open for questions. I'm trying to get in there. I'm trying to get in there. I want these people. I wanted uh, uh, Bush to to see it, and now I wanted Obama to see this Chicago thing. But now Chicago, uh, Obama, is not president anymore. Now here comes President uh, Donald J. Trump. So I'm shooting letters to Donald J. Trump. They're trying to get his attention. Hello, 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 hello. Warning, warning, warning. Okay, they need to hear this warning. Uh, they better hear this one. Okay, now listen. Um, I just saw the Chicago Open Vision Dream on November 2003, uh, 12, 13, 2003. I was in San Antonio, Texas, uh, visiting my dad because um, uh, he was getting ready to go home with the Lord. So I, I, I went over there. I consecrated myself. I, I, I'm just fasting and praying. And the Lord showed me that one. I go like, whoa. Okay. Uh, the first letter was sent to George W. Bush on 02, uh, 18, 2004. The Chicago, this Chicago thing. Okay. And then he got off. Then Obama came on. Then I'm, I'm, I'm shooting letters to Obama trying to get his attention. You know, I don't know if they knew about it. That's none of my business. Okay. Then I wrote the other one to uh, president at USA2017.com. Okay. Now, uh, the other one to president at whitehouse.gov on Tuesday, September 6, 2005, concerning this Chicago one. Okay. Um, quickly over here, this is a uh, member AOL. Uh, this was a long time ago. This one here was, um, um, 
February 19, 2004. I'm sending this uh, Chicago warning, warning, warning. On Okay, so I send it uh, 12.53.55 seconds a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My email before was this one, underscore Charo. I don't have it anymore. That's not... Um, Okay, I send it to president at USA2017.com. Okay, I send it. And this one here, uh, uh, let me see. I just saw the two big towers. Okay, uh, that, that, okay. Um, I, uh, this is a, a, a letter I typed. Um, okay. Now, this one here, on October of 2003, I, Jesse Charo, had a dream vision that Chicago had gotten hit. Now, listen, we need to pray. Um, here's another one. President at WhiteHouse.gov. WhiteHouse.gov. Uh, USA Freedom Corps. I'm trying to reach. Hello, somebody help me here comments at white house okay i'm trying to tell these people now do they know this stuff is, is is coming to pass that's none of my business my business is to do the will of him who sent me to blow the trumpet evangelist jesse charo to god be the glory and you know what i am with the president i i i am uh i am a citizen i was born in san antonio texas uh, glory be to god uh i've been in las vegas for many years uh, the Lord saved me here. He saved my soul from going to hell. I was one of those guys that was going to jump uh, from from one of the hotels in the uh, 80s, in 86. Um, uh, but Jesus Christ revealed himself to me. And, and then he called me. I said, me? Going to carry a Bible? Are you kidding? Are you crazy? You know, uh, 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 go, go, go find somebody else. I don't even know how to speak English. I don't even know how to read. I don't even know how to type. I don't know. I said, you know what? He says, if I can, you know, God says, yeah, if I can use a donkey, Jesse, you qualify more than a, that if the rocks cry out, the tree, I use a tree, I use a rooster, he says. I said, wow. I said, you know what? And the Lord taught me, I didn't know how to use a, a, a phone. I didn't know how to type a, a, a email, AOL. I didn't know how to, uh, but God, but God. We pray, Father, knock on these doors. I'm doing my job. Uh, I, I think I will uh, type this as uh, uh, attention, uh, President Donald J. Trump. Uh, I don't know, 911, next 911. Uh, uh, it's a kickoff to the next World War Three. But uh, I've read my Bible, and you know what? Uh, talking about the great tribulation, we ain't going there. God's going to pick us up. God's going to take us out. Why? Because he loves us so much. You know, this world is just nation against nation, killing against killing. You kill one of them, they come over and kill. Hello? This world, look at the volcanoes. Uh, look at the tsunamis, the mudslides. Uh, uh, it, it, it's getting terrible. Okay, these are only the signs of the times, okay? Um, if you see my, uh, it's, uh, it's called uh, World Wide Web Evangelism. That's my job. That's my new job. I, I work for the Lord. I don't work for nobody else. Jesus takes care of me. You know what? I'm gaining weight. I, I, you know what? I, I, I quit my job as a butler at the MGM Grand Hotel. Uh, I don't wait on tables anymore. He goes, you're going to work for me. I said, you know what? I said, we're on. And guess what? I don't make a lot of money, but you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy, and I'm happy for you. I love you. God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. But you know what? We need to fast and pray. That president needs to get a hold of America and say, you know what? Let's fall to our knees and cry out to God. We'll see if he do that. Okay? Because it's our job to lay down our lives for your, you're supposed to lay down your life for uh, your country. Philippines, we love you. And guess what? 
president uh, of the Philippines, you need to, you know what, you need to get Pacquiao and say, hey, you know what, let's pray. Pray for me. We're praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To him be all the praise, glory, and honor. John 3, 16, God loves, God loves Iran. God loves uh, uh, Pakistan, India, uh, Africa. God loved you all. And he is not willing that anybody would go to hell. Really, hell is real. Heaven is real. I was taken to heaven. Watch my videos on uh, To God Be The Glory, uh, youtube.com slash Jesse Charles. To him be praise, glory, and honor.